Woo, woo, woo. From now on, <laughs> if I interrupt you, you're going to be like, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, shit. Woo, woo, woo. Imagine if we start a whole conglomerate brand. To what the gaming. fuck did you just say? Conglomerate. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> sounds like a Pokemon. Conglomerate, how did you? Conglomerate, conglomerate. Woo, woo, woo. I'm glad that we're finding Australian artists that we fuck with. With Jungle Beats. Jungle Beats shows plugs the best hip hop and music in the world. I'm gonna give you another Australian artist. For those who want to hear more Aussie music, here's another opportunity. My name is Clockface Jr. My name is Speaker Box 31. You want to give us any context around it? Aussie artist, where's he from? What type of music do you make? No idea. No idea, no uh, idea? We have no idea about his artist. Well, the reason we're doing it is because, um, if you know, we list a lot of Ali Bellman and Eva Delivery Boy. And um, a homie of theirs. And we'll reach out. We'll reach out and help him out. So, see if he's got good ish. So, and, yeah. so, to convert that to English, a friend <laughs> of Ali Belmont and Eva Delivery Boy, <laughs> he makes music. <laughs> and we're going to review it. His name is BR. Man, I just speak truth. You just speak in laws. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yo, I think the electricity just went out. I think they turned the shit... They fucking turned it off. They didn't even warn us. What if we were, like, watching porn about to nut? <laughs> oh, Adam and Eve. Mick Down. Jenkins has sampled this. Yeah, yeah trees and truths. We cast Adam and Eve from the garden and gave mankind a legacy of birth and Oh, shit. Okay, this good. Production. You know how many rappers could fucking kill this beat? <laughs> Ali Bellman. Dude, Kanye would kill this shit. Jesus style shit. Oh my god. Did E make this? What? Did E make this beat? No, this is this is um BR. BR producers. Yeah, it's all BR. This is sick. This has huge potential just to be a fucking killer right. track. Ooh, How often does a instrumental track really get us? Not often, bro. Not very often. That was sick. That was dope. That was like, that was like trappish sort of drums, but then like the sort of eeriness that was on there mm, as well. Spooky. Yeah, it was dope. Dark. Was dark trap, I'd say. And Jesus like. Yeah, it had Jesus effects to it. So many rappers could murder that shit. I can think of 132 raps at the top of my head that would murder that. And I can only think of um, 36, but... We won't go there because it'd be a long video. It would be. We could, though. If someone's got to use that beat. You got to do something with that beat. You got to rap or something. Fuck, I might use it. I don't even rap. I can be. I can spit bars in there. Reasonable doubt. <laughs> I'll use this one. I'm pretty sure. Didn't you? Bro, this is still from the queue. Yeah, Best it's, me. The same, it's the same thing. All I wanna do is No, Ali Belmont's on here! West, West, West. That's Ali Belmont! <laughs> How long's this been out? I don't know.
that's okay. I hope you had a great time. I did. Pardon that's me. a cool track, man. That that instrumental suits Ali's tone very well. It was really funny because I remember them showing me in the studio, and I said, I was just there listening. I was like this, and then he's like. What? what? What's going on? I'm like, I've heard this sample before. I'm sorry, man. It was better. He's like, what? I showed him Best Me. Yeah. I showed him the Saba remix. And yeah. he was just like, this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> and he, seemed, he seemed really cut. Because of course you sample something and you've no idea that no one else has sampled it. So I was like, fuck yeah, it's so fresh. What sample is this? I'm not sure what the sample is. But then I also heard another rapper sample it as well. So I showed him that once. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's a dope track. Yeah, it definitely is. It's a bit more of a, a lazy style alley, you could say. Like, that's yeah. aggression. More just like, so, I dig it. Good beat. It's, I fuck with it. I mean, as you can tell, I was fucking with it. I wonder if there's going to be any, any other features yeah. on Yeah. And Goldie. Uh, and Anderson Park. Look, in yeah, we, we'd all love this, that three in one track, of course. Nick loves that Katrin Allen likes all the beats. And Goldlink's obviously team. Oh, maybe up. Alex Wiley. Oh, he'd fucking kill this shit. Like an Arabian prince. Good, nice Arabian. <laughs> Another dope one, bro. Really it's beautiful. Dope. I love the synths on there, and the drums are so nice as well. They fucking hit really hard. They vibrate, and the, the build-up in between was great. I just want more features on this thing. It's like each of these beats are great enough to get a really good feature. I don't know if you can't find them if you don't want them, but either way, even without them, it's fucking dope. Mm. Get us on there. We'll destroy this shit. Like, actually make it terrible. Yeah, literally. Like, we'll... You'll be throwing up. Mm -hmm. Man, it's a, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, it really vibes with me, bro. Yeah, man. Just, you I'll zone be, out and I'm just... I'm mad out of vibes, but, like, only with the synths. Everything else is more him. I'm, I'm, I'm elevated. Oh, you, you look like you're floating. I am floating, bro. I'm in a fart cloud. They're all pretty different so far. They are. One was really trappy. One had a lot of synths going on. One had a lot more keys to it. This one's more focused on the percussion drums. And that and vocal his, thing. And noise. clearly has a diverse collection of sounds that he really likes sampling and creating mm. and he's good at it he's good at creating different tones and vibes love the build up to this track especially the latter half towards the end where he had the the fucking yeah drums are beautiful on here drums. The, the vocal effects really just like really twisted and fucking sick that was my favorite part, the middle part. I think I was super crazy. That's, that's some Clamps Casino type shit. It's really interesting because each track has sort of had elements of another producer, but then still to you. Like before I got K Trinata vibes, here I got Clamps Casino vibes. So That's cool, Clamps Casino is one of my favorite producers, so really cool. Mm -hmm. Oof. Bro. Man, this needs to find a rapper to work with. <laughs> Hell, even an R&B artist. Like A-Cow would sound dope on this shit. A-Cow would kill this shit. Get on A-Cow, you can. You can hear when the guitar strums. 
it like reverbs for like ages, like it just keeps going all the way until the next one. See, this is the Australian shit I want to be reviewing. We're just going to do everything from Ali's side. Everything else is trash. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. We'll eat a bag of dicks, bro. <laughs> we'll eat a bag of dicks. How many? 21. 21. That was fucking dope. Oh, the guitar was so beautiful on there. And the fucking slight delay drum on the beat. I fuck with it. <laughs> I've just elevated to fucking priest status. I was Bro, a prince, now I'm a, yeah. pri now I'm a priest priest. Oh, I feel man, like I'm... Not, man, you go. Yeah, it's alright. I'm a priest. The, the priest like, part was very important. I want to let you finish that. <laughs> fuck up, go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm being elevated by this music. Mm. I feel like I'm just being like transported and it really feels nice, man. It's actually really nice. It's actually... You know what I realized? It's actually... It is... As much as I want features on here, it's really refreshing to have no features because it really makes your mind wonder more. Instead of paying attention to what's he saying mm. or his flow, it's mm. more just like you're really focusing the production, letting your mind wander. Like, what do you think? Like, during that track, I just felt like I was in a desert. And I was just sort of, I was just sort of, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And I was just sort of just wandering. And I'm just sort of, but instead of like, like being thirsty, looking for stuff, I was just really just enjoying being lost. You look a bit like a skunk. I'm sorry, I was, I was listening. I just, I just want to listen <laughs> to you listen to the thing I was saying? Or I just look like a fucking skunk to you. I was like, he looks like a skunk. I'm going to wait till he finishes, then tell him. Probably just like, why is he wearing this like a regular scarf? Because, no, but because I need to hear. That's how you experience music. You let it take you to different yeah. environments. So it's just made me really appreciate sometimes like just not having an artist on there. Like you can, you can showcase the producer more and you can just let your mind just truly wander. Well, you're about to get an artist. Silk and Animus on a sonic funk. Arcade video games, you're in a spooky dark level, you're facing a boss, or maybe you're about to face a boss. Like Zelda? Something like that. I feel like this instrumental, you could place it in I got, I got Zelda vibes. Right. I was, I was on the right. Like when you're in a cave. Yeah, yeah. Or like, or like Pokemon. And like you're in that cave. Mm. You know, you played on the video. The, yeah, the, I, got, I, got, I got video game cave vibes from this. There we go. Fuck, we both thought the same thing. That's crazy. I didn't think about it until you mentioned it. I, oh, okay. was, I was actually imagining walking inside a kaleidoscope. He is sober. Trust me, he is sober. Yeah, if I was on drugs, I'd be doing more than being in that kaleidoscope. The kaleidoscope would be in me. It's a dope track. Uh, Back to the spooky, spookyish vibes. Yeah. Takes me to those arcade game vibes, yeah? That's it. That's all I need to say, man. The, the feature was kind of good and bad for me. <laughs> I thought it was good because I liked, I liked the tone and what he was saying. I thought it really suited at times, but other times I felt like the production, the production sounded really crisp and smooth, but his vocals sounded a bit little choppy. Like it sounded like his vocals were a little, like it, I could distance them from the production. Like it didn't sound like it was part of it. Correct. I agree with that. So I feel like maybe that could have been done a little better. Or maybe that was done on purpose. If it was done on purpose, then you do you. But, uh, and I kind of got a little bit bored towards the end of his vocals. I think maybe you should have either started with them or finished with them but for the whole track i was kind of like he just kept the same flow the whole way through and I was same like, tone same. And i was like it works it works for, it works for a bit of it but not for all of it i think it enforces the sonic i think his monotone dispassionate voice enforces the dark spookiness of the mm. instrumental like yeah i think it works but just not for the whole track but still dope what type of jam um it's a ruby how'd you know I don't. You see, you hear that? It's like the the Mario. It's a me. 
It's like when he gets the coins. Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm Mario. Remember in Mario Kart when you get hit? Woo! Oh, you beat oh, be Toad. <laughs> it's more warrior actually. Uh, toad was more hype. It's like. <laughs> I can't, I can't get that high. Yeah, I can't get that. Can you make Bowser's noise? I don't know what noise. <laughs> I can't. What the fuck was that? I got some chalk potion mint leaves, mate. Oh, yeah. Are you allowed to have any of these? Am I allowed? Yeah, mate. <laughs> you're, you're diet, mate. I'm allowed to have whatever I want. My wife tells me what I can eat. Except me. Oh, mate. These are hard to open, mate. Yeah, this is like Pandora's box, mate. Stop! <laughs> Why? Come on! Come on, man! Very video game like again. Yeah. Once again, feeling those video game vibes. Definitely, I wonder, you know, whether that was a big influence for, uh, for BR during his childhood. Usually it's for a lot of young males. Why not females? Females too, man. I like the, the Casio sort of sounding, like, like I said, video game sort of stuff on that track, but I think mainly because I was, <laughs> I was fucking around in that track, but it was probably the one I didn't like the most so far. It was alright. It, it didn't wow me like the other ones had been. Yeah, it was, it was quite, it was a bit similar. You could yeah. see the similar tendencies. I think because, of... sorry. That's right. I wasn't trying to say anything, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, go, go, go. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You're gonna be, you're gonna, you know what you're going to do from now on? From now on, <laughs> whenever I interrupt you, you're going to be like, No! <laughs> And I'll be like, what the fuck, man? I'm just trying to speak. And I'll be like, oh shit, I just interrupted you. So for now, that's what you gotta do, all right? <coughs> all right, that's what's gonna happen. If, <laughs> you just went from zero to 100. That got me. <laughs> just went. <sighs> anyway, that's what you gotta do. Um, but yeah, I, what I was gonna say. <laughs> shit. Was that, um, it's the first track where. <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna be like, no! Oh! It's the first track where there hasn't been as much build up or as much progression. It's kind of been the same, the whole thing. Would you like a chocolate mint leaf, my friend? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that one day. You won't even expect it. Alright. <laughs> scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> Learning to say more with less is something I want to get good at. Learning to use more powerful words and say less of them. I kind of, I feel like, even like with Jay-Z, the less you say, the more people can ponder it. Like, they can be like, they can interpret more things from it. Because the more words you use, it's sort of less interpretable to me because you're being so clear about what you're saying. Whereas if you're still saying what you want to say but being less clear in a way, I don't it goes know. like a big fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like instrumental tracks though because you can feel the vibe while talking. You can still mm. enjoy it and critique it. Exactly, exactly. He's done this. He's done that before though. He's used like this. I don't know how to. Do, I just call it a female vocalist, even though it's not. It's probably male though. Probably what? Probably male though. Because you can you can pitch anything these days. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, Brockhampton. It's nice. Pretty consistent throughout. I like it, but once again, some of the last track, like, compared to the other tracks, there was a bit more progression and build-up around them. This was kind of like, same, same, but I, I love the vocals. I love the, the vocals, which have either pitched or used, and lay it throughout there. Just really chill, really vibey. Chill, vibey. Yeah, good chill, words. Chill, vibey. It's like, it's like going to smell a flower, and you're pleasantly surprised at the smell, and then you put your nose in there more, and then you get sucked into the flower, and then you're in flower world. No, it's definitely not like that at all. Uh, golly. Don't tell me I live my life. <laughs> Hear that water? Mm. That stream? Yeah, you're right. The, the river? Yeah, river. Have you played Far Cry 5? I'm playing any Far Cry. Oh, you fucking up. I heard they're really good.
I love I love like, this track how the way he sampled different environmental sounds, mm. something he hasn't done so far in this album. Um, I think he's done it well. And this track switch it up too. We didn't get the same st- the I'm- same sound the whole time. I, I remind me of Mac Miller watching maybe because of the sounds off sort of thing because he has a lot of. It gave me sort of like being in like a like a Buddha sort of temple, hmm. like with the the sh- like the had like a like a like a shimmering sort of like a sort of vivid effect to it. It felt like I was with some with some Buddhists like praying at their temple and just just looking out on nature and just really meditating and soaking it all in. That's the vibes I got. I like I like to switch up towards the end too with the with the drums coming back in. It was it was a really beautiful track. Agreed. And also, uh, for those that think chocolate and mint don't go good together, you can oh. go fuck yourself. Right up the ass. Because people, to me, are just like, yo, it's a weird concoction. You fucking weird ass white people eating mint and fucking choc. It's fucking delicious, you fuck wits. Like, I got a weird type of logic with my food. I don't, ju- I don't just eat just a little thing. I need to have like a, a, a small to medium me- large meal, you know? No? He doesn't know. He doesn't know, man. Do you fucking verse? Yes. You can't like dip it in once and just be like, that's good. Yes. I can do it. I can be like, I can get myself hard and just be like, Ugh. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Intro. Reminds me of, like that track of Kendrick Lamar, Dam. Ah, uh, Fear. Remember Fear from Dam? Reminds me of that. The hard. What about it? The dick. The hard dick. You ring it? Do I like hard dick? I love hard dick. When he does tracks like this, once again, where he, where he has a clear distinction between start, middle, and end, mm. that's when he shines. I agree. The way that he switches production slightly to just like, you'd be like, oh shit, and then your brain like readjusts to what you're thinking about and it switches up. It's very smart. Um, it was really cool. I don't know what to say. It was, just, it was a good tune. Try again. Second last track. Okay, I'm sorry, try again. Uh, the, you know, my joke, I'm making, making jokes. Jungle jokes. Jungle, jungle. jungle joke beats. Jungle beat jokes. Jungle. Imagine if we start a whole conglomerate brand. What the gaming. fuck did you just say? Conglomerate. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Sounds like a Pokemon. Conglomerate, how did you? Conglomerate, conglomerate. Like, the fuck does that mean? Is that <laughs> not a real word? Oh, shit. What does it mean? Oh, you do a lot of reading, bro. You never read that word? No. I mean, probably. I That's forget right. things. That's right, we all do. A thing consisting of a number of different and distinct parts that are grouped together. So, a Jungle Beats conglomerate comprising of Jungle Beats radio, gaming, cooking. So, a group. Yes, it has distinct uh, subgroups. Subgroup. Yes. I don't know why the fuck I said it now. Because it's a fucking cool world. Got off on a big tangent. Maybe I'll have Belmont something like this as well. He could do a whole tape like this. Just be real drugged out, mellowed out. Yeah. Oh, I fed Panadol to a seagull. It died. Uh, it's another nice track. Nothing too yeah, special about I was, it. I wasn't big of that one. I can kind of get it. The production, it sounded like that, that. That was a track where I reckon it would be better with another artist on there. Um, didn't really shine too much to me. Still nice though. Yeah. Not mm. much to say about that. Ne- uh, last one, next track. As you can see, as we continue on, we have less to say. Maybe because we've capped out and we've maxed out on our XP and we don't have any more XP <laughs> to expand. We capped out on XP. Or maybe we just, maybe <clears throat> the stronger track at the beginning, or maybe like our minds are just sort of... Getting fatigued. Yeah. Instrumentally fatigued. That's why I'm eating chalk mint, bro. Keep my brain, my brain thinking, my brain, 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 Hey. Help him make his project. <laughs> I don't think so. I thought maybe it's his guitar on one of them. I like it. 
like that a lot. Very like something Kanye West would do. Yeah, but in a different way. I'm gonna end a runaway. Yeah. My favorite track right there. That was beautiful. Those distorted, drowned oh. out vocals were gorgeous. They were so damn. I'm gonna beautiful. save this album. This was great. It I was. really like this. It's a good. It's a good album to just vibe out to and just yeah. really just let your thoughts Put it in wander. the background. Yeah. Saved. That last track was so beautiful. The vocals from that feature were so damn well done. Honestly, BR. Uh, I love it. It's it's fun. I think there was probably two or three tracks where I thought could have had a little bit more oomph, a little bit more progression through them, but. The other tracks, as I've, as I've stated, I love the progression. I love the, the theme that you put with it and the direction. Like I said, most, most of these tracks all, would give me different product producer sort of vibes. So it's cool that you're finding your sound and just doing this. I'd like to see you work with more people, but at the same time, it's nice to, like I said, it's refreshing to hear you on some just straight production sort of type stuff. Well, it looks like it's his second project. Mm. And actually, this is looks like his first project on Spotify. So... <coughs> You know, man, I'm super impressed by your pro, your talent for mm. sound and your ability to produce a diverse collection of sounds and put them all in a project together mm. and create a whole bunch of different moods. That really feels good to me. I think you did a great job here. And um, I hope a lot of artists come to you now and want to fuck with and buy some beats off you, man. This mm. is great. Thank you. Really cool. Eden, really, really smooth tape. Lot to love, little to, lo little to hate really good i'm impressed thank you very much for for hitting us up and we yeah just, it was just it was nice to meet you man and then get to see through there and i'm glad i'm glad checking stuff out i'm excited for what else you got in store for us i'm glad that we're finding australian artists that we fuck with because k21 is fucking yeah man uh, in the words of k21 as in the words of k21 eat a bag of dicks that's that shit lame in any case, man, uh, if you want us to review your music, mm -hmm. uh, hop on our Patreon. We can do that, review and react to it. There's a special uh, consideration we made. Obviously, it's a, mm -hmm. a good friend of a friend. Exactly. So, so you want to show love. Yeah. Always, man. Hope y'all fuck with this Aussie artist. Mm -hmm. Jungle Beats, we out. We out. We out of this bitch. We out of this bitch. I'm eating chalk mint. I'm eating chalk mint. My penis is thick. My penis is thick. You got the world right in your hands. That responsibility is unescapable. I promise.